Sorry about that. Good afternoon. My name is Liz Sampson. I work for TJ Maxx. For those of you who are not familiar with TJ Maxx, we carry men's ladies apparel as well as ladies shoes, accessories. We carry jewelry. We also have uh, children's clothing um, as well as a giftware home department as well. Um, today we'll be showing you some apparel that you can use to, um, for business casual as well as you can take it and dress it down and you can use it for a night on the town as well. Um, our first candidate is Chris. Chris is currently wearing um, Kenneth Cole pants with our chaps short sleeve um, check, <laughs> check shirt with our tie. Um, this would be perfectly appropriate for an interview as well as if you remove the tie, um, you could take that out on the town as well for dinner or um, anything that you choose on that. Thank you. Our next candidate, uh, Jasmino. Jasmino. Um, he has our uh, gray pair of slacks with our pink Ralph top and black tie. Again, perfectly appropriate for business casual um, interviews. To take that out on the town, you could possibly remove the tie. You could pair the top with a pair of jeans um, or take the bottom and throw a t-shirt on. Make that all casual. Thank you. Okay, next. Okay. We're waiting on Joao. <laughs> um, we also at TJ Maxx, we have our TJX Rewards credit card that you can sign up for. Um, what, how that works is for every $200 that you spend in store, you receive $10 reward certificates. We've actually had customers that have accumulated their certificates and at the end of the year they actually use it for Christmas shopping. So anytime you charge something for every 200 that you charge, you get reward certificate for $10. So if you charged $400, you'd get $20 certificates. Um, great program. We also have our gift cards. Um, our gift cards do not depreciate at all. So you purchase it, it's good forever, and they make great gifts. If for that person that you're not quite sure what to get something for, gift card is always the way to go. Absolutely. And Father's Day, too. Yeah. Easter's right around the corner. We've got some great dresses. We have some really, really nice apparel. Um, spring apparel, which hopefully the weather will cooperate soon. But we have a lot of nice spring apparel. Um, I do have little shoes. Yes, and flip-flops as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we are also affiliated with Marshalls and Home Goods where all, we all have the same mother company. Mhm. Mm Excellent. Okay. Um, Peggy? No. Um, Jenny, I'm sorry. Jenny. <laughs> sorry. Jenny has um, our, it's a blue skirt um, with our floral top and underneath we have a tank top. If you were going out on the night, if you had a pretty sequenced bra, you could actually go with that under there because it is fairly see-through. So you could actually jazz it up to go out if you wanted to do that. Uh, <laughs> um, and that's, that's Jenny.
It looks awesome. The outfit looks great on her. Absolutely. Yep. Um, I would get you could go with a blue jacket to match the skirt or even a white. Yeah, you could also jazz it up if you wanted to do some, um, like a piece of jewelry or scarf or something along that line. You could also do that. Yeah, yeah. And Melissa? Melissa looks fabulous. She is in our capris, which capris, spring, summer, huge, huge paired with a um, mint green tank as well as sweater and then we added the scarf to accessorize to dress it down you could pair it with a nice chunky like your chain type of yep a nice piece of jewelry something like that would dress it down um, you could also you could remove the sweater and do so another you know type of top um, throw over it but that is Melissa. Thank you. I have another question. Sure. For, for an interview, would yep. you, like, say you're hiring. Um, mm -hmm. That would be perfectly, would be okay. perfectly appropriate. Okay. Yep. Yep. So the heels help. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And last is Joan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Generally, <laughs> you wouldn't do the sneakers, but for today, we'll let it go. Um, this is our Periella slack with our access button top, um, black button top, and our paisley tie. Um, to dress it down, you could remove the tie. You could pair the shirt with a pair of jeans. Um, for an interview, you could do... Yeah, it does roll up. They also do come down. So for an interview, you could undo it and just bring the sleeve down for the full sleeve effect. But something you could definitely wear for an interview and then dress it down to take it out on the night. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Sure. You did not talk about the hair. The hair? As far as the hair goes, I mean, as long as it's groomed, people really don't, I mean, myself, I've been, um, I'm in merchandising now, but when I was in operations, as long as the person was well groomed, hair, as far as up, down, makes no difference. I did have someone come with wet hair and I didn't hire her. You should take the time to dry her hair before the interview. I probably wasn't going to do that. I do I want to the one they they told us that people could get here um, yeah. back mm -hmm. with it's better like okay. clean just put it back. Yeah, they said yes. 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 Yeah. The only thing I, I what I look for an interview is uh, as long as they're well groomed again. Um, if you come in with jeans, I'll be honest with you wrong thing to do. And I hear a lot of that. You know, they'll have like a nice top, you know, a top, but they come in with jeans or sometimes you know, no feds, but ripped jeans. That's fine, but not for the interview. Right. Go ahead. Leggings? Uh, if you wear leggings, leggings with a nice long no. top, yes. not a short one, yeah, I don't, that doesn't, I'll take that to that's something we sell. And it fills up with nice flats, nice boots. Right. There's a lot of discussion about tattoos and whether they should be visible or not. And also nose rings, extra earrings. But you're taking a chance. So it's up to you. Mm -hmm. um, it obviously depends a little bit on the job you're going toward. Um, if you're in the armed services, if you have tattoos, you have to wear a long sleeve shirt. So yeah. I, just so you know. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Generally, in, in certain cases, um, 
I have interviewed associates and we currently have associates with piercings as well as tattoos. I mean, a lot of it has to do with how the person carries themselves. Um, you can have a tattoo and you can be the nicest person there is. Um, so I try not to allow tattoos or piercings to cloud my judgment as far as who a person is. Um, I myself have tattoos. So, I mean, it's, it doesn't, it's not necessarily a ref, uh, poor reflection on an individual. Just, you just have to be aware, depending on where you're going and the type of, that's why it's good to research a company before you go and kind of find out where they are. And if what uh, Marge was telling you, what would your comfort level be with this company? You know. And general rule of thumb on your attire, if it's something that you would wear to hang around the house or to the gym or something like that, don't wear it for an interview or anything to that effect. You always try to want to try to put your best foot forward and create that. That first impression is always very, very important. Okay. Do you feel it's necessary to wear a suit for an interview? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I mean, it looks really nice, don't get me wrong, but it, again, it would, it would revolve around where it is that you're going for the interview. For us at TJ Maxx, wear a business casual attire. So you coming in in a suit, you're actually dressed better than I am, and I'm a member of management. <laughs> so it's not, ne not necessary. Yes. One base. Again, it, when it comes to the interview itself, whatever you're comfortable in as far as the colors go. Yeah, but I, I do like, um, I think it's Target, they're red tops with a uh, black bottom or something like that. But yeah. Okay. Any other questions? No? Okay. Thank you all, and hope to see you at TJ Maxx. You're welcome. Now let me just go over one of the things you want to dress to impress. So one of my big key things is definitely no jeans, no t-shirts, no shorts, no flip-flops, um, no tank tops, and no sneakers. Because um, you want to dress to impress. So you want to walk in there and they take a look at you and they say, wow, you know, even if you haven't spoken, you haven't said anything yet, but they already like the way you're dressed, so you've already been impressed them with that. I'll start just briefly just with the men's. I didn't have a male model that fit into the clothing. Um, with this, I just have a pair of Perry Ellis just um, men's slacks. They're dress slacks, the navy blue. And I paired it up with a um, old navy shirt and a tie that matches. Does anyone know what the rule of a tie? Does anybody know what the rule of how high, how low you should wear your tie? Mostly men would know this, but no. Okay, the rule is you don't want to wear your tie down here. You don't want to wear your tie up here. Your tie should match up with the waistband of the pants. So if you've tied your tie and it's too long, too short, then take it off and I would suggest redoing it again so that it matches up with your belt. Um, you don't necessarily have to wear a belt. I think it finishes the outfit when you do wear a belt. So, all right. And now we'll move on to some of the models. Um, first, we have Jenny. <laughs> Jenny is wearing a Tahari skirt suit, um, and it's paired up just with a simple sleeveless top underneath that. So she can take off the jacket afterwards if she's going somewhere else. But for the interview, I would suggest. It all depends also if you're being interviewed um, for a more corporate job or uh, something that's, uh, you have to dress for the position you're applying for, in other words. So this you would wear definitely for something corporate, higher up, management. Um, you would definitely wear something like this. Um, 
She would pair it up probably with some black shoes. And what I did is I just paired it up with a necklace that has a little bit of silver, a little bit of black to bring out the color, the turquoise um, bracelet as well, and the earrings as well too. And that brings out all the color there. This whole outfit with jewelry and all, and not her shoes, but the other shoes that, that I have, um, would be approximately $75 at the very most at my store. So, all right, thank you. Next we have Erica. <laughs> and Erica is wearing an Ann Taylor pinstripe suit. You can't really see the pinstripe, but it is the color. It's like a grayish blue. So what I did was I matched up the top, a button down, that matches with the little pinstripe to bring out the coloring. We also paid it up with a simple necklace that just brought up some colors with the greens and the blues, a ring, and also some earrings in, in the blues too, just to bring out some colors. She's also wearing some classical pointy pumps. Um, this whole entire outfit with shoes and all, again, approximately $75 at the very most. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't really have any other models. Um, one other thing that I did want to point out, if the guys wear a business suit, a lot of the times you have two or three buttons. There is a rule for your buttons in the front. The top button, always, always button. The middle button, sometimes. The bottom one, never. If you only have two, it's always and never. But if you have three, it's always, sometimes, never. That's a, a big rule. So when you do sit down, though, however, you can unbutton your top button when you sit down, but you should walk in with your top button buttoned in. Yes? How do you determine when the sometimes happens? When the what? Sorry? Sometimes you button, button the middle button, so how do you determine when to you? Just depends on, on the look. If you prefer to have it buttoned, that's why it's sometimes. Some people like it, some people don't. It depends. If your shirt is showing underneath, um, you would probably want to button it up because you want to look neat and appropriate. Yeah. And that's more of a rule of thumb for men. Women, you can have yours unbuttoned. Um, women tend to have more buttons than men do um, on their jackets. But if you want to follow the same rule and you have two or three buttons, you can follow the same rule as well, too. Any questions? We're also talking about heavy perfume. It's probably not a good idea. Some men don't like a lot of perfume. If you go in reeking of perfume or hairspray, you know, they're going to be offended. And you might have a male interviewer. Right. So for women like Jenny, she has a skirt. Are you supposed to wear like, like some sort of like um, tie? So like if you're wearing you like... The rule is I'm very conservative and you should dress conservatively. I would wear some sort of pantyhose with that. Even if you don't want to wear black, you can wear just a nude color that just goes with that. Now, a lot of places have relaxed a little bit with that, that you can just go with bare legs. Again, read up on the company that you're applying at. Know what their dress codes are. A lot of the times they're right on the internet. They'll tell you. Um, you can look at the gallery pictures and so you'll know how other people are dressed there and kind of just go with that. I yeah. Also, oh. Sorry, I, um, I was sent a link for a man and how to tie a Windsor a tie and a half Windsor. So I will send the link to Debbie. Did you have it? Did you send it? I have it. OK. All right, so that's, that's a helpful link um, for men because it gives them everything about how the jacket mm -hmm. should fit, how the pants should fit, what, how much pleating at the bottom is appropriate. Um, so for so those who don't have mirrors and mothers, it's great. Barbara, can I ask you, if Jenny were to take that jacket off, mm -hmm. she could pair it with something like a sweater, a dressy sweater sure. also with this? Yep, yep, she can change that. I mean, um, once she gets the job, if she just wants to wear the skirt with a different sweater, a different top, a blouse, she can. She does not have to wear the jacket. If she's going out that evening, she can uh, throw a scarf on and not wear a necklace if she wants to, a black and white scarf, something that matches with some of the coloring. Sure, you can do quite a bit. But for the interview, definitely I wouldn't go sleeveless or tank top. So, um, and that is a sleeveless top, so she is wearing a jacket. Yes? Um, in regards to like the heel height, is there, I would imagine you don't want to be too high, but it's flat, like, um, I, 
I think it, it's appropriate that you can wear flats. Again, I would wear trouser socks or nylons or something, depending on how open that shoe is. Um, I'm, again, I'm very conservative. Some business places are a little bit easier and, and more lax, so they'll let you do anything. But I think for the n interview, you should overdress because you want to impress them. And then once you get the job, you don't have to be as um, dressed up every day unless you have a corporate job. And of course you should. <laughs> Any other questions? I do have shoes for men, for children, for women. Yep, with consignment, um, what happens is uh, people come in. Um, it is by appointment. They will bring in up to about 25 items at each time, and I take a look at them. I look for no stains, no rips, no missing buttons, broken zippers. Um, and then I give them back anything that I'm not going to accept in the store. Um, I usually know what's going to sell. Well not what's going to sell, but I have a pretty good idea of what's selling at what time of year. Um, so it is seasonal, so right now it would be spring, summer. And, um, and then I price it from the, what the retail price would be. It's normally a quarter to a third of what it would have retailed for originally uh, when you purchased it. And does the person dropping off the clothes get a commission? They do, they do get a commission. It's a 60-40 split on anything that's, uh, that I price under $100. Um, so I would get 60, they get 40, and anything that's priced over $100 would be a 50-50. So students can start cleaning out their closets now, right? And get rid of you can, stuff. yeah, what, yeah. What kind of clothes do you take? I take everything as long as they are brand names. Oh, yes, yes, I try to keep a brand names because that, a lot of the times that's what people cannot afford. You can't, especially when you're young and you're still in school, um, you can't afford a $200 suit, but you can get it at the store, the whole outfit for $75, which is a little bit easier. Anything else? I just sure. You said not to, um, I mean, you said to overdress. Uh, my sister is an average TJ Maxx shopper. Uh -huh. And she had went to a lot of the interviews that she had overdressed for and did not get the job. And when she was told what, by people who work there, who knows her, um, her uh -huh. that she was overdressed and the person was intimidated by the way she was dressed and the way she spoke and the way she acted. So how do you overcome that? Well, it, it's like I said earlier, you're going to want to dress for the type of position that you're applying for. Again, look up the company and see what types of rules they may have. Um, some companies are a lot more casual than others. Some of them you do have to dress up. It's mandatory. There's still very conservative companies out there that you have to. So I would suggest doing your homework and, and following up on the company and looking at the pictures in the galleries and see how their women or their men are dressed. And that should give you an idea because those people are working there already. Yeah, and that gives you an idea. She knows the place that she um, was interviewing for. She done shopped there for many years. She knows the office. She done been in there more than um, five or six times. And she still was overdressed and they still was intimidated by her. So I'm just wondering, what do you do that to talk up your losses? <laughs> well, I, I mean, you're not always going to get the job. That's the first thing. <laughs> um, so they may have told her that. It could have been another reason that was behind it. I'm not quite sure. I can't really explain that. Her friends who worked there told her that they were intimidated. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, the way she you know. dressed and the way she talked. Right. Because my sister's a very outspoken person. But I'm just wondering. I don't think that you can ever be overdressed for a position that you're applying for, um, better to be overdressed than underdressed, I would say. That's the way I look at it, but. Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Any other questions of any sort? Well, that's it for me. <laughs> thank you.